What is up, YouTube? I'm Taylor. I talk about comics. I know, and, and ramble on about other shit too, but you know, comics mostly. How the heck are y'all tonight? Uh, or whenever you're watching this. If you're watching this later, um, yeah, you know, great. I appreciate it. If you're watching this live, I appreciate it. So let me scroll by and see who's in here live. Uh, Ruben, Calabunga, Las Cruces, good seeing you. James, I'm glad you got your box. I look forward to seeing your reaction on that. Cheeto, how are you? Slotted up, welcome. Uh, Chip, good seeing you. Uh, Cheeto, yes, a scotch seems necessary for this. Tapias, how are you, sir? And uh, let's see who we got. Uh, lots of, uh, Adam, good seeing you. And Bandit Buzz, and Rob. There once was a man from, yeah, I'm not reading all that. So, <laughs> Paul, yeah, how are y'all doing tonight? Um, this is not my normal kind of, well, trying to get away from the mystery boxes a little bit anyways, as far as unboxing goes. You know, there's only so many you can do, and I know there's so many two rock number ones you can pull out, and uh, you know, it's up to pay, uh, pages and professor comics and bit bros. And uh, thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, so this is a box from that Spider Man movie, and this is things I picked out and purchased. So you can see my odd ass taste. Um, it's either from Monday, Wednesday, or Friday, I'm not sure which. They have three different shows going on, they're all kind of about the same. On Mondays, it's buy. If you buy three in one order, you get half off. That's probably the best deal. Uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays, if you buy two or three, you get one free, the cheapest one free. So not quite as good a deal, but not not awful. And uh, they, they tend to make more of the books I, I want uh, live on Wednesdays and Fridays for sale. So there is that. But uh, one shot, and welcome. What's up, Slim? What's up, uh, Amazing Jesse? Thank you. I appreciate it. So, yeah, these, uh, I've got a couple boxes open tonight. All from that Spider-Man movie. They all showed up at the same time. So, we'll see what we got here. Um, yeah, this one, uh, first, Cindy Moon. I did not have a copy of this. And so, I put it in my box. Uh, this is, oh, yeah, uh, Marvel Zombies Resurrection. I think I've had every other variant on the, of this on the cover. But, uh, you know. Not this one, and I kind of like this simple, super, you know, clean black and white cover. Homage to ASM 300, obviously. Uh, this one is Red Sonia Essentials number one, The Virgin. I just kind of dug it. I might, I, I might not. Some of these I actually might put up on eBay and stuff too. So we'll see. Old man, you're not, you're not late, Rob. Yeah, I, yeah. There's that. Adam Tizzy, uh, right back at you, sir. Um, but yeah, this one is kind of like. Uh, this one's not a key or anything, but this is a. I like these old what ifs. What if uh, Spider Man had rescued Gwen Stacy? Which honestly might kind of be a key ish if you count alternate universe stuff like Gwenum and uh, all that. I don't know. But speaking of another one that's not really a key, uh, Daredevil 175. They're starting to put some of these older books up on other days of the week, which I like. You know, and so it's not just new stuff all the time. Uh, yeah, and then Return of Wolverine number one. I have a different version of this, but you know, sometimes you sometimes you really you just kind of got to throw a, a third book in the box just to get the just to get the order number in, or just to get the discount. You know, you're like so. I I don't know, Adam. I, I'm not sure. You're you're pretty quick on the trigger. Oh, and this is okay. This is the other day. Yeah, they had a lot of old Star Wars, like amazingly, and so. And these are in pretty crispy shape. So this is uh, the Bubba Fett, how Bubba Fett got out of the Sarlacc pit, uh, 81. Or no, this is, no, no, I lied, sorry. I think I have that one in this stack. This is number 50. This is the first IG-88. And it's in pretty nice shape. I don't see any spine ticks on it at all. Well, I mean, it's got a little bit of rubbing on the corners and stuff, but, you know, it's in, it's in real nice shape. <laughs> uh... Number 71, which I think is a minor key. I don't honestly remember. So if anybody knows, um, where did I get? These are all from that Spider-Man movie with you, Amazing Jesse. So if anyone knows what this one is, let me know. I can't remember, honestly. Oh, uh, Stargazer number one, one of 200 uh, with an A. This is just a nice – I've not actually read this yet. I, I mean to, but I can't. I have. I might just have to find a reader copy and stuff. So <laughs> I bet you did, Adam. Sean, good seeing you. Welcome. Uh, oh, this is, okay. This is how Boba Fett got out of the Sarlacc pit. So this is a key issue. Um, again, it is in, yeah, I mean, it's 
it's in real nice shape. Got a couple non-color breaking ticks, but that's about it from what I can see. So, and it's direct, which sounds crazy. I know everyone's hunting for newsstands, but this book came out before 86. Before 86, uh, newsstands were more prevalent than direct issues. So this is actually a little more rare. Now, convincing everybody on eBay of that shit, it'll never happen. But this is actually more rare than the, than, and as I hit it on the damn monitor and give it another spine tick. Uh, anyways. Okay. Um, which one is this? Number 58. Again, I just kind of like that cover. And number 27, which is another little key, I think. I can't remember. I have to go back and look at all these. They just had these, and they're pretty decent price. And, again, it was buy three, um, get, get them half off, or buy two, get one free. I can't remember which for some of these. But, you know, well, good enough deal, and they're in really nice shape. And so that was that box. Perry, afternoon. What's up, Legion? Yeah, okay. I knew. Yeah, that's right, Chip. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. And then this box, bubble wrap. I will say I get a lot of bubble wrap from them, and I, I, I recycle it a lot. Okay. Let me really quickly go through here. All right. I think what this is, and this is the other part of the Monday, Wednesday, Friday shows, is once you have an order number, they, they JPG just starts like calling out order numbers and handing out books. If you're one of the first 20 on any given day, you get a free book. And then if you order $50 or more, in an order towards the end, you'll have what he calls an incentive round, you get a free book. And it can be a chance of pretty decent stuff. So I know a lot of people are bashing that Spider-Man movie lately. It's very popular to do if your name is starts with franchise and ends with dicks. But, like, whatever. Um, so these are all books that, like, came along with these as part of my order, like, as throw-ins. So uh, Strange Academy number four, I believe, Virgin Variant, uh, Dan David Nakama Nakayama. So this book's actually going for a fair amount on eBay right now. Uh, another Return of Wolverine, the Virgin variant. <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, exactly. This, these, I think, Adam, I think these are all free books. And that's more, that's a thicker stack. So, uh, okay. Uh, one, some Power Ranger variant that's after another homage, obviously, to ASM 300. I know, I think this might be 55. I'm not sure. But it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to pull it out and see. Uh, Red, white, and blood Wolverine error variant, which uh, was going for a fair, you know, pretty decent penny as well. <laughs> All right, this one's not worth a ton, but I don't care. It's still just amusing, and I like Simon Bisley. Bisley, how do you say it? So, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Lobo's back. Um, uh, thank you, and you're welcome. Assigned Boss Logic, Bloodshot number one. All right, what else we have here? Okay, Undiscovered Country. This is a con convention variant, number one. Again, this is like a $50, $60 book. Uh, Wonder Woman, $750. Hang on, the stack's getting there. Another Return of Wolverine. You have a chance of getting duplicates. Every time your number gets called, like you can win more books. So I have a lot of Return of Wolverine, number one. Hit me up if you want one. Um, and I have a few of these. <laughs> I know this one does not say error on it, so it's probably not the error variant. But if anyone wants the error and the other one, like, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, Detective Comics 1027, the Bermejo cover. And last but not least, yeah, uh, Venom 28, 29, I can't remember which issue. One of their exclusives. Again, this is like probably about a $40, $50 book on eBay, maybe 35 to 40 So, I know, like again, I said, I know folks have been talking smack, but like this stack and came is it in addition to this stack, so that's not too bad. I mean, I, I can't really, I, you know, and it is what it is. You can't make everybody happy, honestly. Oh, also, hang on, this came along with it, so we should see who has more black and what. All right. This is one of those, like, you know, I feel like I'm Oprah or uh, one of those uh, Home Shopping Network channels. But wait, there's more. I kind of cracked these open a little bit, so I, uh, this one opened a little bit. So, yeah, all right. 
And then again, at the end of the day on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, he'll he'll call out order numbers, right? And uh, if you ordered from a certain time, I can't remember which day this was that happened, but like you have a chance of winning a pretty big book. Okay. And yeah, so I don't understand people that are that mad at this company. Like, even if you don't necessarily get your what 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 they perceive as like value in the in the superior boxes, you really have enough shots at uh, everything else that like, yeah. <laughs> and Jesse, hit me up and we can talk about that. Yeah, definitely. Oh uh, yeah, and this is signed by Ray Park. So this is a 9.8 signed by Ray Park. Dark, dark uh, Star Wars Darth Maul, the Aspen Comics Sketch Edition. So yeah, that and they sell this for a couple hundred bucks on their site. Oh, and I, yeah, I know. Like, and there's there's some strategy to it. I I put a lot of orders in on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday, Fridays because the more order numbers you have, the more chance you you know you got. It is like a lottery ticket and a lottery raffle. And so there's one more thing in this box, <laughs> and I'm gonna pull this out. And this, <sighs> yeah. Oh wait, Adam, wait, Sean. This it gets better. This, yeah, this. Thanks for the bandit. You gotta let me do the build up. You know, you just like spoiling it for everybody, you dickhole. I appreciate it. Thank you. Love you. Kidding. There you go. My one of my personal grails. Um, this is kind of nuts. This book is worth more than some of their grand prizes uh, <laughs> that that they give out on, on during the week. And I went, I'm kidding, man. It's, man, it, it's all good. I'm just I'm just messing around. <laughs> yeah. This is the biggest, probably the biggest book I've bought from them. It's uh, obviously 9.4. It's it's uh, signed by Howard Chaikin and Tom Palmer on the September 30th. Stan Lee on October 16, 2018, and Roy Thomas uh, in 2020. So it's quadruple signed. And, yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I, I'm not saying I retired the hashtag rigged for personal use because this was not a mystery box GP, Adam. This was a uh, this one was a Monday Mania win. I've never actually won a mystery box GP. I, well, i have not one. Let me back up. I've never won one of their smaller mystery box GPs. I've won hit, a big hits in the superior boxes, but not in the 2.0. So, yeah, this is time by Stanley. It's this is kind of nuts. It's a uh, sorry for the glare, but yeah, it's you can see his sig right over the Star Wars, and then. There's Roy Thomas, and yeah, it's quad, it's signed by pretty much everybody, including Howard Chaikin, um, who kind of hated working on this book, but that's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it because, yeah. Oh, nice. What did you win, Adam? So there you go. That's – if you have a – honestly, like, I, if you're, if you're bashing that Spider-Man booth to get views, I get it. I don't think it's the way to go, and I don't think it's going to – a good long-term strategy, but what do I know? I have 550 followers, and – Certain people that do it have twenty to thirty thousand. I understand everyone has their own opinions and all that, and I get it. I just don't. I really don't think they're trying to screw people over on value or anything like that. It's just it doesn't make sense for them, <laughs> like in a long, it, it, as a long term business to do, and it just baffles me that that some people are that negative after ha having hit giant prizes and stuff. Even if you've hit like medium prizes, it's usually enough that where you've made your money back on uh, for several rounds of stuff. Plus. If you're ordering mystery boxes and stuff, you're still getting the books in the mystery boxes. So it's not like you're just buying a lottery ticket, and then which turns into toilet paper after you lose. Kind of rough, scratchy toilet paper, but still. Oh, that's awesome, uh, Adam. That's great. Yeah, that's a nice hit. So, yeah, it's definitely this is one of my personal grails. I'm a huge, I'm a big Star Wars fan. Like, I know bigger, but like it was the Star Wars is the first movie I ever saw. In in a theater, is it a drive-in movie? And uh, you know, it's got a lot. It's got a great place in my heart. So, yeah, I think every you know, <laughs> yeah, that 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 would that is true, Professor. I just happened to share or tag a few people, and JP gave me another book. So that might make it seem a little rigged. But yeah, you've got to know when to buy, and there's definitely strategy to buying. You're right, Adam. Like, you know, we all have our own strategies, but like, oh, this is uh, this is oh. Uh, it's one of my t-shirt designs. It's the Midwest version of saying, I'm sorry, and excuse me, and hi, and everything else, hidden gem. If you're walking past someone, it's like, oh, don't ask. So, 
Uh, hang on, I got to scroll back up to see what they did. Sean Miller, they deserve it. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I got to scroll up and see what you're talking about, Chad. Yeah, some people, have, yeah, bandits, yeah, they give away too many prizes. Yeah, there's a lot of people in here that have won a lot of really big books from, from, uh, <laughs> Rob, I promise I'm not going to win all the prizes, just most of them. Like I didn't, I didn't hit any of the slabs today. So, <laughs> well, you can buy one on TaylorWinder.com, Adam. I have a yeah, uh, Nerdy Girl. I, sure, I mean, I, I, I Nerdy Girl's a big enough entity at this point that I, I, I would probably feel okay with that too. I just won't. I'm not going to support her business. I never have. I, I, so I don't have any personal experience. I've seen enough people get boxes from her that I'm not going to buy from her. Let's just put it that way. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I get it. I, I get like anger is easier to express than joy a lot of times. And also like you're more likely to be vocal when you're pissed, especially if you're like a YouTube channel, but it's just kind of <laughs> trying to do a black, white and blood for a t-shirt. Only if it's the error variant. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a process. I'm trying to figure out my own path forward. I can't keep doing these mystery things. And no one wants to watch me make art because I think it just bores people when I try it. So I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do more review kind of stuff, I think, and uh, and maybe just more hangouts. You know, Jesse, you can find her find her on Instagram. Like if you just if you just look at put a space between the words and like look it up on Instagram, you'll find her. She has a lot of a uh, lot of lot of she's got a lot of fire books. Like her book her book collection's nuts, but. Yeah, you can look her up on YouTube too. She's gonna have some fair amount of bashing on there. So, uh, <laughs> Rad Rat, I, I bought some books and then I'll, I'll show off the two bigger grails that I won. It is definitely not rigged. So welcome, JPG. So there you go. I uh, you can screenshot this so I can uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And that goes along with the, those are the big books, and these are the the world might be flat. I mean, you know, let's be honest. And so, and these are the other books I won. <laughs> and these are the, whoa, yeah, slippery little sons of bitches. And uh, these are the books I ordered. So, so it was a heck of a, heck of a mail call. So, yeah. The world's not flat, but like try convincing, never mind, we're not going to get into politics right now. I need whiskey before I start talking about the impeachment stuff and uh, how how you can't wear the American flag in public anymore. Or people are gonna know you're kind of batshit nuts. So yeah, <laughs> like uh, that was uh, Darth Maul number one. It's the Aspen Comics Sketch Edition, signed by Ray Park. Adam, I don't know if you can read that, but <laughs> we can definitely do more hangouts. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be hanging out on Friday night doing a mail call and stuff. And if anybody wants to jump on here, we can, we can definitely go live and chat. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, boy. All right. Anyways, the government may be rigged, and and we're yes, but you know, you're gonna. I'm a dirty, dirty, dirty left leaning hippie. I think we should all, should all have universal basic income and uh, single payer health care, and you know, dreadlock our armpits. But that's just me. So, yeah, I uh, thank you all for stopping in. I really do appreciate it. Um, I, like I said, I do have these shirts for sale. I've got a, some original art if you want. You can hit me up on Instagram. I can show you what I got for there. It's not just me. Like, I didn't win any. I, well, okay, I did win today. But other people won today. Like, people that have never won big stuff before, I think, got hit two pretty big slabs today, hidden, which is pretty nice. So, Friday Night Mute Fest. I think I had my mute sorted out, Rob. Yeah, I think I don't want to jinx it, but I had to I had to change my settings a bit. I think it's working a little bit better. So yeah, it's a, you know it might be still be a little bit of whiskey on Friday night because I but I don't want to be I can't be too much of a puddle on Saturday because the Packers are playing. I know it's not till three thirty in the afternoon, but you know I gotta support my team. Oh yeah, I, I, small town collectibles. Our next topic. Um, yeah, it's actually uh, we're you know there's this is kind of related to what happened uh, at the Capitol last week, but you know there there's a petition going around or at least some some call from Marvel to uh, retire the Punisher logo, and so small town collectibles and I are going to debate whether or not that's a good idea. Uh, Packers score, Adam. I'm not predicting that yet. I don't want to jinx it. Uh, there you go, Professor could jinx it, but who knows which way he's leaning? So if he means that as the Rams, I'm going to have to unfriend him. 
There's a, uh, I think Sean, there's another like right around the same time. There's a, there's another like one of the weekly grand prizes was a was a that's or a Star Wars one. So there's still someone out there unless unless it's already been claimed. I'm not sure. JP could actually probably tell you if anybody's claimed uh, claimed the other Star Wars one that was out. Uh, well, rock on, Professor. <laughs> Winter's Day is coming. Yes. Well, then they, we need like Fergie Friday and you know like <laughs> yeah. All the all the uh, and bandit uh, bandit Monday well, that doesn't that doesn't have a good alliteration bandit you got to change your name that's all there's to it Ram oh Jesse no 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 Rams so all right guys I'm gonna get out of here have a good night thank you so much for stopping in I really do appreciate it uh, and yeah honestly like if you ever want to chat about that Spider-Man booth and like the strategy of winning I don't have it all down pat but there are I can I can help explain when <laughs> like if you order on Tuesday nine in the morning. You have less of a chance of these kind of things. But if you order when JP is live, it's a pretty decent shot. So have a good night, everybody. And as always, don't be a dick. <laughs>